Okay, Dr. Mindy here. On this video, we are gonna dive where I am, you're diving in with me, into this idea of autophagy and how long do you need to fast in order to reach max autophagy. So if you're new to autophagy, go back and watch the video I did yesterday. I explain what autophagy is. On this video, I am gonna talk about how long you need to fast and what are some of the parameters around fasting that you can implement to be able to maximize this self-healing effect that our cells came pre-programmed with. And if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am on a mission. We are getting healthy this year and we are gonna do that by building ourselves a fasting lifestyle. So I'm on a mission to get a million people building a fasting lifestyle. So join me as I walk you through this week what autophagy fasting is. And as always, if you're new, please subscribe. If you love this video, send it out into the world. We are more powerful together when we do health together. Okay, let's talk about autophagy fasting. So there are some very specific parameters. The first, you guys have probably heard me talk about this idea that we have these switches that turn on. The longer you fast, the more you turn these switches on. And I actually think of autophagy as more like a dimmer switch. So autophagy starts to kick in around 17 hours. And so that's when you're like a dimmer switch in a room, you're slowly turning up the light, you're slowly turning up autophagy around 17 hours of fasting. Now, if you stay fasting, the science shows that between 17 and 72 hours, you will get maximum autophagy. Many people believe 72 hours, that three day water fast will give you the best autophagy effect possible. And a lot of people believe, just like I was explaining, that it's just a dimmer switch that just gets brighter and brighter as you move closer to 72. So 20 hours has more autophagy than 17. 36 hours has more autophagy than 17. The more you fast, the more you're gonna build up this autophagy effect. Now there are other key principles to autophagy other than fasting that we cannot ignore. So one of those, and I learned this from Naomi Whittle, she uh, did a Resetter podcast with me all on autophagy. So go to iTunes and check out the Resetter podcast. She's like actually was in one of the first five episodes we did last year when we launched the podcast. And she taught me a hack for autophagy fasting that I absolutely love and many of you have tried. And the hack is this, you go 17 hours of fasting, and then at 17 hours, you break your fast with fat. Why would you wanna break your fast with fat? And that's because fat will not spike your blood sugar, typically. Fat will keep your blood sugar level, and it will allow your blood sugar, in some cases, to even drop. If your blood sugar doesn't go up, then technically you are not being pulled out of a state of autophagy. So the first thing to get into autophagy is you wanna go 17 hours of fasting. The second is when you actually do break your fast, break it with fat, an avocado, some, just some oil, Andreas seed oils, uh, MCT oil, uh, any grass-fed dairy that doesn't like butter or ghee that doesn't have a lot of protein in it. You're literally just, or avocado, I, I do a lot of when I autophagy fast, I do a lot of avocado where you're just taking like a scoop or a sampling of those foods so that you keep your blood sugar even and it will allow you to fast longer. So if you're struggling to go 17 hours, this is a key hack because if you eat that fat, it doesn't raise your blood sugar, doesn't pull you out of autophagy, and you can technically keep fasting. Second key, key food tip that I wanna give you on autophagy is if you are continuing your autophagy fasting after you broke your fast, if you open your window up, your eating window up, and you keep your protein under 20 grams, you're still technically in autophagy. So all this week, we're doing autophagy fasting. And if you want to stay in autophagy all this week, five days of autophagy, which would be awesome, we're in the new year, hopefully you didn't overdo it over the holidays, but let's say you did, then what you would wanna do all this week is do your 17 hours of fasting, break your 
fast with fat, and then when you eat, you're gonna keep your protein under 20 grams. You can do animal protein if you eat animal protein. We're not, in autophagy, we don't look at carbs as much as we look at that protein. Now, I like you to keep your carbs under 50 net carbs, but the key is 20 grams of protein. That is the key. If you do those three things, you will stay in an autophagy-like state all week. I personally think this is the best form of detoxing. There are a lot of fancy cleanses you can do out there. There is a lot of, uh, lot of money you could spend on these cleanses, especially in the new year. But as you hopefully know from my channel, you are the miracle. The supplement's not the miracle. The cleanse is not the miracle. You are the miracle. And autophagy fasting is the best way to tap into the miracle part of you that will detox you. So all this week, this is what you do to stay in autophagy. 17 hours, break it with fat, and then keep your protein under 20 grams. And those of you that are water fasters, you love water fasting, know that as the closer you get to 17, 72 hours, you're just ramping up that autophagy. But that's the, the tips on staying in autophagy for a longer period of time. That's what you need to know about fasting and autophagy. Again, if you love this information and you want more detail around it, just put companion guide in the comments and my team will give you a link for a free companion guide outlining this whole fast training week. And if you want to experience all the different fasts and build yourself a fasting lifestyle, we are doing that in the Reset Experience. It is a month-long experience where I'm taking you through each one of these principles and helping you in a guided way to customize it for you. Because building a fasting lifestyle is our way out of this pandemic. I promise you, if it, that doesn't make sense to you, go watch the videos that I did on uh, uh, fasting and COVID and immunity. Our way out is through our own personal responsibility. And we do that when we build a fasting lifestyle, we create a titanium immune system. So join me in the Reset Experience so I can show you how to customize this for you. Just put Reset Experience in the notes. And as always, you're the miracle, you're the hero you've been looking for, and autophagy fasting is gonna prove that to you. Excited to hear your results today. Love being on this journey with you.